So at least we're getting some much needed rain out of the way today. And even though we have that rain, we're still in drought conditions for West Michigan. Meteorologist Samantha Jacks is outside on the weather deck to talk about our conditions. Hi, Sam. Hi, Laura. Yeah, that's right. Over the past several months, we have seen abnormally dry conditions. And of course, that's noticeable. Even when we have those precipitation chances in the forecast, it seems like we can't gain more than a tenth of an inch. So we crunched some numbers. March and April came together, ranking top five for the driest months on record. Back in 2005 was the last time that we seen these dry of conditions when we only received 2.1 inches of rain in that entire two month time span. This year we only received 3.42 inches of rain. That's about 2.7 inches below where we should have been. Average for this time of year should have been about 6.2. But what does that exactly mean for us here in West Michigan? Well, looking at our drought monitor across the region, we are under a moderate drought for the entire mitten. That means we are going to see impacts across the entire state from our lack of precipitation. And even with these rainfall chances in the forecast, it doesn't seem to be helping us out too much. And this week, hopefully, there will be a light at the end of that tunnel. But a wider view of the drought conditions you can see all across the Midwest. These are some of the most expansive drought conditions that we have ever seen. 2020, of course, setting those records for wildfires along the west coast there and now we're even starting to see the impacts here in West Michigan. So what does this exactly mean for us here? What are our impacts? Well, let's take a look. This is the second highest price tag for any billion dollar disasters. That means we're breaking in about $6.2 billion a year across the United States from drought conditions alone, of course, damaging our crops and threatening tourism all across the United States and increasing that wildfire threat that, of course, we've seen here in West Michigan. On the bright side of things, that 90 day precipitation outlook looking to be above average. So hopefully that gives us a light at the end of this very dry tunnel. Meredith J.